A familiar voice indeed. Q, this is not padding. I know what you said. Come on, let's see. Let's see it outside. So we can't horse around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. Sam saw the pudding here and he went nuts. I stopped him from going on a rampage, but ow, cut it out, Kazan. <laughs> Release me at once! My rage voltage is rising! Help me, Sarah! Um. Uh, I'm just gonna let Okasan do it. Let him go, don't you realize it's a fan tale? Eh? Eh? That was terrible. Eh? I oh, know, that was fine. <laughs> Kiss, Sally's your four boy! Once freed, Okasan rampages for a while and then comes over with a satisfied, satisfied expression. Akasan loves you, gentle maiden, but fake pudding cannot be forgiven. Very well. San in the forest. Me and me and me. Very well. San in the forest, and me and Teta the village. Our love pure. Carry me away, Yakul. Who the hell's Yakul? I don't even know. Today's a lecture day. What should I do? Attend. I'm gonna go to mass because uh, my wisdom is not. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. Ah, Okasan said I did not know that. Yes. And now we draw the line perpendicular to this. Is this math class or nap time? Sarah leveled up. This has been increased by five. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Well, there's lots here already. Anybody I know? What should I wish for? Hmm. Uh, I think I'll go for that one because that's one I think Okasan is and I want to try and pull him so I wish for the mad love of a fallen angel that's way too sloppy oh hello is that you Pigeon? Mr. Nanaki you should be careful out this late it can be dangerous for a girl you know that's about head home would you like me to walk you to your place? Um, uh, no thanks, I can make on my own. No thanks, I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Wasn't the, uh, Keymania IIDX public playtest starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. Today's the elected day, what should I do? Attend... Gym, again. A rock dove is wiggling out of the surface of the water, advancing neither forwards nor backwards. You can't swim, Yota? I'm doing my best. I'm going to learn before I graduate. Graduate. Sarah leveled up. Vitality increased by five. I really don't need any more vitality. Oh god. Just a little longer until the early release days. Finals are coming up, and the glum depression is already setting in. But at least you won't have to sw have to swelter in the classroom all afternoon. Why is a school this famous even stingier with its air conditioning than a public school anyway? Sarah! Ryota? Have you had lunch yet? I was gonna go to the cafeteria, wanna come with me? Okay, I heard they're expanding the menu, I wanted to try something. Have they mass massacred the ramen now? It's like half 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 dead rice, right? Probably, and Oka... What was going on? Who the fuck's that? I turn around and see a short dove standing behind me, his chest stained a deep red. 
you. Are you one of those who called for this for this disaster? The one who invoked the proud towers of the blue sky? I have no idea. The blood you're bleeding. My test you are. Yota, I don't think he understands Japanese. We need to get into the infirmary. Oh, don't worry, look closely, he isn't hurt at all. What, but the blood? He's a loser from the class next to ours. The plumage just looks like that. What, really? Correct. I'm Higure Anke, the fallen servant of God, stained with the blood of sin. See, I've never come into this person before. I never ran into them. This impressively upload. An Ankel Higure. This impressively uposted bird is Huge Hu Higure Ankel. He is the class next to ours. He must be another surfmore. That's an odd name. I wonder if he came from overseas like Sukuya. His Japanese is kind of strange too. Ah, the corruption spreads faster than I expected. I had hoped to find it before it came this far. Sleeping servant of the heavens. Yes? Um, he's talking to me, right? Time is slipping by. Judgment draws ever nearer. We must find the truth by the light of Red Moon. Gah! I must last a little longer. Be silent, Crimson Beast. You are hurt, aren't you? Do not touch me. Farewell, little brow of this blue sky. Fate decrees that we shall now shall meet again. He's gone. What was that all about? I think I think you picked up a weird one, Sarah. Hmm. Let's go eat lunch. Ah, it's too hot. I'm gonna melt. Pathetic pigeon, as expected from a mere mammal. Aren't you uncomfortable too? I thought doves fared badly in the heat. Letting your weakness show in front of others is the mark of a vulgar class. Hmm, maybe I should take a leaf out of your book. The red eye of the demon led me here. He summoned me once more, Apostle of the Blue Sky. Him again? The guy's so creepy. Who is this? I think his name An Angel. He's the class of ex he's the class eccentric next door. Hmm, another peasant. None of you have the right to be in the school. Go back to the Philippines and bang some coconuts together, why don't you? Luzon bleeding hearts are from the Philippines? That'd be why they're called Luzon. Bleeding hearts. The Philippines have bananas, right? Now, I want to call him Banana Man. Incidentally, Sophia is about as unhinged as Angel, so maybe they could be friends. I have no business with you, hallowed magician of white. Apostle of the blue sky. Yes? Can you not remember who I am? Um? A fallen angel? Could you be a fallen angel escaped from the demonic prison? Judeca? Have you awoken at last, Apostle Elbla? We have but little time left. You must decide. Will you cross swords with me on the promised ground or... Ah! No! Not now! Angel? He flies away down the corridor in spite of my protests. What busy bird? This is weird. This game's like different every time I play it. We get a final back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Dojin. Sir? You didn't do too badly, I think. Yes? You... never mind, you did bad badly, sorry. No, Not again! <laughs> Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed my Senaraki. I have to study more from now on. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems short. But either way, it's summer now. 
I'll go return the books I have out from the library. Hello, Angel. He appears like the Christmas star descending from the heavens. And tell thou of the blue sky. I'm about to open a gate to the other world. What will you do? A gate to the world, you mean? He stares intensely towards the end of the hallway. The infirmary. I made a disguise, said Elblau. I sense a powerful evil magic inside. No doubt the tree of blight, Rufa, has taken root within. Left alone, it will soon swallow the entire school. We must stop it now. I wonder how Dr. Iwamine could react to an eccentric Filipino breaking down his office door. Um, I'm curious. Let's, let's do this. Sure, go ahead. Ah, uh, farewell, Adabla. We shall meet again at the promised place. Now show yourself, Tree of Darkness. And he rushes into the infirmary door, slamming behind him. And I never saw him again. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Hunt to gather his body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. My god, that bird is so creepy. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start a vacation. And how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out on my usual stomping ground at some point. But where did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleo paleolithic combing instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. No, that's not right. Pretty sure that's a woman, so... That sounds a bit too much like someone else. <clears throat> I don't know you, where did you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting, squinting up in my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel strange pressure. I can tell right away that a sparrow isn't just anybody. Um, I'm from Pit St. Pigeonations. I was just out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? <laughs> you must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Huh? I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determines. Like, anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on! The intimidating sparrow gest gestures towards a scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Thank you, um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. And thank you, Azami. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it in your skull, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange for a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you under you'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you'll know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walk. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it in your soul, kid. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. <laughs> and so we put it along as armies hide to cautious speed. By the time we got back to my house, it was almost yeah. lights out. It's still a long time until semester starts. I have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I had the chance. I will... I get a job. I haven't got a job in this game yet. I think I saw a flyer in the station hiring high school students over at the summer. It was at the cafe, right? 
Why is it a little bird thing? It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at noon. Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is extremely er elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird. Without a doubt, this must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds out there are the teachers. I've not met this person either before, so... Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urishihara Kenzaburo. I am the owner of Tor Torimi Cafe. I'm Pigeon Zara. Welcome, Miss Sarah. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I did not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for this summer then, Miss Sarah. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course! I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Sarah. Today's my first day working at Mr. Uru Shihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Sarah. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I am sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice, I almost want to move in. Come now. It's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my hat. I don't know who that is, so I can't do this. So, excuse me? Um, I saw the flyer at the station and... Yota! Sarah, what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Sarah? Oh, yes, this is Yota. You came here for the job too, Yota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I'd fit in after my other job. But you already got the position, then that's that. Um, Mr. Urushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should do the job I was hired for. Fuck you, Ryota. Um, I'm sorry, Ryota, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, Sarah. I got a couple more places to check. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you're looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Sarah. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Yota. I wonder who the first constable in my life will be. What the fuck's that? You're a new girl, human. A butcher gar steps in the door. The first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for somebody who'd raise more, a few more flags, maybe a white peacock. Welcome! Would you like a bath or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Urushihara? I'll take Kenzabudo. Hey, wait just a minute now. Yes, a perfect delayed reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Sarah, a regular customer. I'm, I'm, oh shit, what's the voice? I've already forgotten it. I'm something, an important fig, 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 I'm so bad at accents. Important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what's with that when I came in? I've wanted to bring out that reaction out of someone with Kansai 
with a Kansai accent since I was a little girl. Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dreams come true and I can die happy. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Sarah, right? That seat there is my private property. Y'all remember that now. A new customer encounter. In a little birdcage, today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Please, sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? Oh shit! Just not the mic again. I stayed out in the town for too long and it's late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy ways of life alone is what we humans are all about. I don't know whose voice that is, so. Oh, hey, human. What? Suddenly I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You go to some pigeonations, don't you? I bet a rich little girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from Danny, huh? Rich little girl going to a fancy school, thinks she's so great? Yeah? Darn it, I can't tell them apart. I can pick girls out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock doves. I've all the but rock doves I've just met. I've just met all that was in. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, that's not nice. Show some cash first. Cash. They buff up their chests threateningly. Dumb punks. Picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little. They're angry now. My hunter gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. I can take them. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? Yes, I can. Slam. Third. The work of a moment. Some birdie flits towards, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is fucking Oko Sam, is it? Her? No? Asami? That was, that was close, Sarah. Are you sure you should be out this way? What the. What the F? Who are you? I can't come of any of us. Me? Well, I'm the passing Takoyaki lady. Ta Takoyaki? Don't screw with us. There's someone. Here they come. I'm not gonna take from a bitch and a human. Take this. Yeah! Now, Danietta, I'll teach you chicks a lesson. Sparrow kick! So cool, your star kicks are super cool, Asami. Don't relax just yet. This is where the real fight starts. Asami filtering mag magnificently under the glow of the neon lights, and me gleefully punching the daylights out of those punk punk punkians. <laughs> Fighting back to back, now that's trust. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. I'll invite. Well, as you know, I've got to invite Okasan. <laughs> cool! Is it true that you'll take Okasan to a wonderful place? Yep, today's the summer festival. Let's go together. Cool! Okasan smells excellent things! Okasan's exa excitement is under setbacks in them! It's a lot of good food. More than we could ever try. Cool! For fat season pudding! Well, probably not. I've never even seen a sand selling pudding. Oh look, look, the fireworks are starting. Aren't they pretty, Okosan? Okosan? No, he's lost himself to the shining lights and returned to his feral ancestry. Calm down, Okosan, calm down! Time sure flies by when I'm in here. See y'all around, Kenza. Kenza, Budo. Oh. Hey, Sarah. I'll be finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day. Gestures to me on his way out of the door. Here. This is your tip. It's... 
the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So young Ben from Osaka can do it too. See you all around. Good day to you, Rabu. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something, Sarah? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any uh, tonjudu left? Of course. Here you are. It's got a wizard in it. Mmm. Tonjudu from a fancy cup is the best. Mm. By the way, Mr. Ushihara? Yes. Mr. Rabbit comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Like, is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. He likes to come here and relax before work. A butcher uh, who works all at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. The moon is wonderful calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the time to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, I haven't met another careful driver recently. Haven't I met another careful driver recently? One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss Sarah. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you for everything, Mr. Urushihara. Ur I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. Y'all retired already? Miss Sarah is a student and must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. Yay, face or ah, oh, god face, I don't know. Doing at least half, half in one week. Reckon you'll do just fine. Gonna feel real lonely here without you, Sarah. Least can. Zabudo ain't going anywhere. Nat <laughs> naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Everybody who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city, an island of something of s soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity that so pe few people come in. Nice. Oh, welcome! Azami, you came! Can't exactly refuse an invitation from my sweet little pr protege now, can I? When did, you, when, I, when did I become your pr protege? Okay. Um, yeah, have a seat, please. Uh, Azami? Is that you? Her expression suddenly hardens. It feels like the cafe is going to burst. It feels like one of those scenes where the retired cop faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Do you know each other? You might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this. You left us all behind, have you? Azami, ah. Uh, how do you even think I felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him at any moment. Um, Azami? I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabbo is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Please forgive him. Stay out of this kid. He doesn't concern you. What happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? What? Blaster. I remember your sexy, rapturous eyes back then. You used to be a living legend, kid. The le leader of the top spikers around. Back then, there wasn't a bird on the night's roads who didn't know the name of Hosokawa Blaster. Carve in your soul. Carve. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Carve in your soul. No. We'll start together and nobody's gonna hold us back. I think nobody's gonna hold us back. 
I was young then. Every one of us Hell's birdies would have followed you to the end of the earth. And we all knew we would have gone there without a single traffic violation. Since when do bike gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with a law when, when you ride. You ride on the uh, inside. You were pretty famous for your strong ideals. Riding with a soul as wild as any of the gang, but never breaking the law. You are my hero. But the hero doesn't run away, and you did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Don't move the gang's tails onto the love story. Azam, I can tell you I've hurt you, I'm sorry. But tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Ushihara knows exactly as he was when it all started. So the tall shin glass behind the counter. So Mr. Rabbi used to lead the bike gang, and his real fake name is Hosokawa Blaster. This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? Please listen to me, Asami. It's a little late for that. Six months of tea and cake, and you look like Mr. Father Bean? Baby Bean? Mr. Father Bean? This. It fits so well. I don't like the fat man, but my all my love for you burned up long ago. Asami subjects Mr. Father Bean to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Father Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. I should really stop loving Mr. Father Bean. I should bring up... Uh... Martial arts. Asami, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Father Bean. What's this about there? I hate this voice. <laughs> I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you even talking about, kid? You practice your elegant kicking technique every day, right? You've been preparing a special move for your reunion with him, right? Kicks. You're right, I have. Regret your teeth, Mr. Father Bean. You regret dumping me until the day you die. And so the oasis of soothing parakeet chewy, par parakeet chewy, was transformed into a scene of avian fury, the wrath of God falling to earth in the guise of a sparrow's legs. I'll decimate my summer homework with the force of a raging bull. Next up is individual research project. I want to research something that will only take one day, but I don't really have any ideas. Anyway, I'll take a short stroll around town see if I can find an interesting topic. Huh? Standing in front of a used bike shop is... Azami? Oh, it's you. Kids like you should head home and get some sleep already. Azami, were you crying? What are you talking about? Don't make fun of me! Sorry, but as your protege, I am... I really am worried about you. Making my half-grown protege worry? I must be losing my edge. When I look around, her trademark pink scooter is nowhere to be seen, and she came out of the used bike shop, which means... No way. Did you sell your bike? If you're having second thoughts, I'll go back and take it back for you. Nah, it's fine. Oh, shit, this is something. And now that it's over, I'll look to the future. That's the way of the sparrow. The way of the sparrow, that sounds pretty cool. Goodbye, Mr. Father Bean. It's time for me to move on. I don't... Hey, you there. Hold on a sec. You were the guys I picked to fight with my cute followers, huh? Get him, bro. Get him. It's the gang of Bad Birdie from before. So you brought your friends? Chicks like you should be at home washing their beaks and getting ready for bed. Don't look down on us. We brought our best fighters to pay you back. You better be ready. <sighs> These doves are strong. Gang you upon her isn't fair, you punkians. Azami, I'll help too. 
pumpkins come at us one by after another. In just an instant, the nightmare, nighttime city transformed into a violent battle field. As Army lays the smack down with her magnificent sparrow kick. And I pulverize everything with my fists of fury. We're at a huge disadvantage, but Azami and I pull through and live to see the dawn. Heh, I always said you're something special. We gotta play strong. No, I still have a long ways to go. No, you're already a true sparrow. I'm a sparrow? What do you mean, Azami? I'm 100% human. You know, nobody's born a sparrow. You overcome obstacles and suffer hardships, but you always reform forward. That's all makes somebody a sparrow. Your kindness, your strength, your way of life, everything about you screams sparrow. From this day forth, hold your head high and call yourself a sparrow. A zombie. I am a sparrow. Sparrow Sarah Pigeon. And no pokemon is a match for me. I feel it in my bones. I can trust you. If we are together, there's nothing we can't do. I'll be counting on you, kid. Yeah. A zombie and I formed an all new all girl to live with gang. Only our souls run wild, our wild bone, our wild birds embodied in that noble spirit as we drove through the nights, never once breaking any traffic laws. And so we became the legends of the Midnight Roads. I joined the gang. This game is like... Oh, okay, I didn't get the Okusan ending. I got... <laughs> the gang ending. <laughs> um... I wasn't expecting to, oh god. I wasn't expecting to get that ending at all. Um So like So like I said, this is my third time playing this game and it, it's different every time. Like last time I played I died. Um I joined a gang this time. I was gonna seduce Oko san but that just didn't happen. Just lots of attackiness. Yeah, it's a good game. It's on Steam. I think it's like £8 or something. Definitely worth playing. I mean, and you, it's just a game you can play over and over again and just have a completely different experience every time. And it's just a really good game. But, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching Hato for Boyfriend. And, yeah, just... Don't forget to hit like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye.